Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Just a real quick one here, how to do an update. Now, we've had a little problems with this. It's a new machine and I'm going to give you the shortcuts just to tell you on how to do it. So when you get first get your machine, you're going to want to do your updates. Best way to do that is first of all, put it on Wi-Fi. To do that, you go to the little cog up here, right up here, and you just push that. Then you go down to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connection, and you pick your active Wi-Fi connection, put in your password, and then you have internet on the device. Now the next problem is we've got this OBD mini and we want to update the firmware on that because when we got it, when we went into the device here and we go down to updates, we could see right here that it had a little red dot, which means that it needs an update. So to do that, we had a few little problems because it was telling us to wire it uh, directly from this to this with the plug and nothing seemed to work. We tried putting power onto this and then wiring it directly onto that. Nothing seemed to work. Okay, so what we've got to do is uh, we've got to go to uh, more functions and then go to the second one down, which is connection mode. Okay, at the moment it's set on the first one here, mini USB connection to the key tool max by USB. So we want to change that and we want to go to this bottom one down here, which is uh, max detection, uh, mini OBD connection to the key tool max host cannot access the internet. So that's the one we want. Okay, so now we've uh, put that on that setting there. We're going to apply USB power to this. So this is just into a USB power point and it's now powering up the device. Now I can go back and if I go down to um, update and I can see the device here. Sorry, first thing we'll need to do is uh, go to the device. So this little black button here, push that. Okay, make sure it uh, finds it and it's found it. It says disconnected, so we're just going to double tap that again. And then it's uh, going to give us a little pop-up. Yes, we want to connect. Well, we'll give it a minute or two and it will actually should find it. So that's one of the biggest uh, problems we've had with it so far is being able to get it to communicate when doing that update. So now we've got that device and it's connected. So we've got that device, it's powered by USB. Uh, we've got the key to max on Wi-Fi so it can get internet. Now we can just simply go to update and you push on the update you want to do and then you just simply go OK and that will do it. Okay, so let's go back now and let's put this back the same way we're going to have it when we're going to be using it on the car. So we go down to more functions and then we go connect mode. Okay. The device disconnected. And then we select this top one here. So now it's ready to... Uh, to start working as normal and we can go program cars with it. Okay, just a quick video, leave the comments down below. Thanks for watching.